We are actually going to be doing another giveaway and it is going to include... Ready? Hey guys, we are back with another one. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new, you're gonna have a lot of fun with us, so stick around. Today's episode, what we're gonna be doing is uh, some oil changes on our 2001 and 2007 uh, night trains. And if you know, that can be one of the most fiery topics in the forums. Also in our last video, we asked you guys to give us some questions and we're gonna answer them for you today. So let's get started. So for today's oil changes, what we're gonna be doing is showing you what the oils that we have picked out here. Now, the previous owner of Tanya's bike said that he always ran Maxima, so I just got the Maxima. Now, there may be a little bit of uh, controversialness about that. Is Maxima good, is Maxima bad? I don't see any issue with it, and uh, we might as well run it. You'll see we got the Canaan oil filters. These I really like. They have the wrench off top on them. I don't know what everybody else is using. That's another thing, comment below, what kind of oil do you guys use in your Harleys? Also, do you like these K&Ns? I do, because they have those nice little tops there for the wrench off. Another thing we're gonna be doing is putting plugs in Tanya's bike, because I don't know when the last time it had it. We just bought it last year, so I'm sure it's due. In my bike, I've always run the Mobile One. No particular reason, I just like the Mobile One Beach Wind, and uh, I've always just used the Harley primary and trans fluid. Same thing, I like the Canon oil filter. Which ones do you guys like better? There's a million oils. I know AMS oil is great, but uh, I'd like to hear from you guys which one you guys like the best. <laughs> All right guys, so while the oil is draining, just wanna remind you all that we are almost at 5,000 subscribers. And as we discussed in our last video or a couple of videos back, we are actually going to be doing another giveaway and it is going to include two shirts of your choice and also some other cool little things from our merch site. If you haven't checked out our merch shop yet, make sure you do up in the corner we are actually running a promotion right now on all of our merchandise so everything is going to be probably about like three to four dollars cheaper so make sure you check that out grab a shirt and come hang out with us so i don't know what you guys do but i've always just used tin foil because i know this can be a mess <laughs> that is some <laughs> technique <laughs> it works though for the most part the, the way the oil filter is set up on the harleys I, they make these like special like rubber bendable hoses, but I'm kind of cheap and I don't really want to buy it. So I use tin foil. If it makes a little mess, you just clean it up with some degreaser. But comment below, let me know what your technique is. I've seen Coke bottles, like people cut out <laughs> Coke bottles. The crazy stuff people come up with, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys do for that. Also, if you haven't subscribed, do that because we got this big giveaway coming and you don't want to miss out on that. Oh, like it's not gonna be perfect in there, but it it catches most of the oil. So, all right, guys. So we're gonna answer some questions for you while Eric is, you know, doing some work on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> all right, our good friend Thani from Hawaii. Hi. <laughs> you guys ride with a group or club and. How about an estimated amount of solo cups to complete the Dyna? <laughs> Actually, speaking of solo cups, we haven't even talked about today's rating for oh, our I solo know. cups. I know. So Let's give it at least a three or a four because we got two bikes. We got two bikes today, yeah. So three solo cup rating for today. And back to do you guys ride with a group or a club? We don't typically ride with groups or clubs. We have friends that are in clubs and groups, but don't ride with other clubs. I actually am in a riding club. We're called the Valkyrie Vixens. There's about six of us girls. One of my really good friends started it. She's the president of, of the club. 
we love it. It's cool. It's just a way for us girls to get together and ride and just have that good group of sisterhood. The estimated amount of solo cups for the Dyna to complete the Dyna. I think that's gonna be a little hard to determine at this point. What do you think, Eric? I guess it just depends on how much fun we're having. Yeah, that too. <laughs> So, Thani also asked, where do you get your inspiration and do other riders in your town or state design them similar? Well, our inspirations, I don't know, I, I kind of like, it's yeah, I kind of just know what I like and what, do I tell what you about I want. The, what do I tell you about the vision? The, yeah, the vision. <laughs> Eric always has this thing about vision. <laughs> he sees this vision <laughs> that sometimes I can't always see what his vision is and vice versa. So but I guess I, that's why people are different. <laughs> what I so. said, I came out of the shower at like 11 o'clock one night and I was like, I got it. I got what we're going to do with the Dyna. So other people in our town, you know, I feel like our bikes are really different compared to a lot of the other bikes in our for the, area. For the most part. I think everyone has their own kind of things that they do to their bikes that make them look different or the same. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say there's like too many club style bikes or too many eccentric bikes. There's definitely a lot of stock and boring bikes, I'll tell you that. We go to like these bike nights and we look at these bikes like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people leave that stock on. <laughs> Leaving that reflector on the forks, right? <laughs> also, oh yeah, Tanya, where did you get your helmet? It's pretty badass. So this is my helmet. It is a full face. Um, it is also one of those modular ones, yeah. so it can be a half helmet, it can be a three quarter, or it can be a full. I'm always going to ride this as a full face because when you do take it apart to like a half face or three quarter, it's just weird looking. <laughs> it doesn't look right. This is a Scorpion helmet. I don't even know what website I got it on at this point, but you can find them. They, they have all different modular helmets that are in different designs and different colors. So you do have your option of what you want. I absolutely loved this design. I also added, <laughs> I, as we talked about in my last video, I'm a little flashy, so I added some, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I did add my own bling to it. So I added the studs on there, the rhinestones and the horns. The horns, <laughs> I got on Amazon and it did come with uh, like 3M tape, but I didn't trust that. So I, to be honest, I crazy glued them on. <laughs> so this is my helmet. It flips up. It actually has a vent here so you can open and close. And uh, this is really cool. I like how that flips up there and it's just that part. But yeah, I absolutely love this helmet. We're not sponsored by Scorpion, <laughs> but I do really love this helmet so much. I do get a lot of compliments on it as well. I think that's going to also answer, we have another question in there, if we ride with full face helmets. And up until yes, probably did. about a year or two ago, we always Icon. rode with we always rode with half helmets. I feel like as I got older, I wanted to jump into the full face helmet just for safety reasons. We have two kids now, two boys. They're one and gonna be three actually on April 5th. So that's kind of more the reason I went to a full face. Eric actually went to a full face well before me. Now that I do have a full face, it's it's great. I love it. Thani, thank you for your questions. I hope we answered them to your liking. And who do we have next? M. Morin. This is probably, well, this can be a question for either Eric or I. How tall are you? So, Eric, you are six. Six two. Up, six two. Six three with boots on. <laughs> six three with boots on. No, six you go. two. No. I'm five three. He actually, you put extended controls on your yeah, bike. Yeah, so the 2001 Night Train, I put the Arlen Ness uh, forward control extensions on the bike. Uh, it's a two inch extension. So we had to move the kickstand forward and also extend the rear brake line. They weren't, I think they were around $160, somewhere around there. Honestly, at my height, I wish I went with a four or six inch extension, but the two is better than nothing. What do I think about 2006 uh, Night Train? I mean, it's solid gold, man. You got the yeah. 200 rear back tire. I think that's the first year for the 200. Honestly, I didn't know that they made them with a carburetor. Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought they were all fuel injected at this point. So that might because be kind of- Because mine's an 07. So yeah, and, uh, and I know in 2001, there was an option for a fuel injection or for a carburetor. I think that 
continued on to 2003. But comment below, let me know if somebody does know when they just went switched over to pure fuel injection. I'm not positive, to be honest. So I really like this question. This has been a little bit of a controversy between me and Eric, but <laughs> question from John Christopher, AKA X Chronics. Yeah, he comments all the time. Yeah. Good guy. Good guy. <laughs> So, have you ever started a project and thought maybe we bit off more than we could chew, oh boy. but it was too late? <laughs> <laughs> so, I immediately thought about the bar project that we did on my bike. Not necessarily the job itself, but more the time frame. So, we kind of really pressured ourselves on getting, you know, having a time frame to have this done. And it was really in like one or two days. And it actually ended up taking us like three days, I think, three or four days. We thought we were going to have it done in one yeah. day of filming for you guys, but it just did not work out like that whatsoever. You have to keep in mind, we have two little kids and every time we do filming, it's either in the middle Late of the night, night, like right now, <laughs> like right hang, now. On, hang on one second. Let's and I've see. already gotten up twice. Let's see what time it is. There, go. there you go. Sleep. Eleven thirty-two <laughs> at night, right now. <laughs> Eric that? thinks something a little differently. So, <laughs> so what does Eric think? What, my the one project that I bit off more than I could chew was when I lifted my K5 Blazer. I did it on the driveway, on my back, pretty much by myself. Right. Unfortunately, we did not. We were not recording no. at that time, so we don't really have any footage of that. But if we did, you guys would laugh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's a 1980 and everything was original on it. I literally was sawzalling and whiz wheeling everything off. I had a couple friends come over and help me out big time, but for the most part, I was alone. <laughs> it was a long road. I came road. out and helped a couple yeah, times. It was a long road. <laughs> okay, Brad Carlson, another one of our favorite fans. Yes. What's up, buddy? Have you two ever gone on a trip with your bikes and gone camping? We have not done that. Not camping. But not we've camping. Gone on trips. Well, we've gone on trips with Americaid. our bike. We, we've done Americaid a couple times in Lake George. Um, we've rode up and uh, that was actually one of the times that we lost my headlight on my Sportster going <laughs> 90 something miles an hour on 87. <laughs> I actually have gone on a camping trip with uh, my girlfriends. That was a sight, <laughs> packing my Sportster. <laughs> like, yeah, we'll put a picture up. We'll put a picture, we'll put up, a picture of up of that. My, it was hilarious. my Sportster was like packed on the back fender and pretty sketchy stuff, but we had a great time. It was, um, it was an event called Babes Ride Out and it was an all female event. Only two wheels were allowed. <laughs> yes, it, <laughs> it was a great experience, but I would never do it again as far as like, the amount of females there. So we camped for two nights. Narrowsburg. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of that. Narrowsburg. I, I've, ne I've never even heard of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, at some point in our lives, when we get to the point where we can be humans again and not worry about <laughs> two babies at home, we'll probably be there someday again and be able to do that type of thing. Loco Ocho. Do you two use a com link like Cena? Well, actually, we just got Cardo. We haven't actually used it yet. Yeah. We literally just got it a couple weeks ago. We're so excited to try it so out. Excited. And we're gonna do an unboxing for you guys. And we actually are gonna do a video on that. We're gonna go out, we're gonna test it out. And we actually can't wait to start vlogging that way when we, yeah. um, when the weather finally gets nicer. I don't know what's going on with this weather. It's crazy. It snowed again today. Yeah. Uh, what was the other question? Do you have a GoPro? Yes. We have two GoPros and that's what we mainly use to record. We were using our phone for a GoPro little while. GoPro nines. Nines, yeah. They seem to work really good. The batteries are terrible on them. So, so yeah. you know, every now and then we have to stop and, you know. Um, that's normal. Plug them in. So thank you, Local Ocho, for your question. Don't forget your new gasket. All right, so we just finished up with 
my bike on the oil change. We're gonna get it off the lift, get Eric's bike on, and we'll get back to those questions for you guys. We have a few more to answer for you. Yeah, so I just had a couple things to tell you. So I haven't checked these plugs since we had them. So luckily I got a brand new set. I gapped them before. But yeah, these things were pretty, pretty shot. Um, you also noticed that uh, you only saw me change the engine oil and the primary. That's because the transmission fluid was literally just changed when we put the bars on. Yeah. So that's why you only saw me do the two. And uh, that's that. Let's get this piece of junk off the limb hey. <laughs> and get down to my bike. Some more questions. <laughs> Don't forget about me back here. <laughs> All right, Brian Blasic. What brand of rear shocks are you running on your soft tails? Stock. <laughs> Wait, is that a joke? No, they are they are oh. stock. They just have like the lowering pins in them. The the burly kit or the progressive kit, whatever one it was, but they're both just like the burly pins that you'll see. Um, I did at one point have aftermarket shocks on this, but I was destroying my back. Mm. <laughs> so I went yeah, back so to the stock with lowering pins. Okay, Zazzle, have you ever considered a fat tire for the Dyna build that would really make it a custom and cool? So <laughs> we love the fat tire look, obviously. Unfortunately, I, that's just not what we're going for with this build. I think I would appreciate the fat tire a little bit more like a dyno wide glide. The one with the, like, the, the wider front forks and stuff. I'm not saying it wouldn't look awesome on that and just not going in that direction with this yeah. bike. We're going for like, it's yeah, this something like club style bike a little bit uh, with our own twist on it. So, yeah. but we want something that handles good and yeah, we're kind of stick to the fat tire like on these kind of, on these kind of bikes. But uh, maybe the next bike we will. Maybe yeah. the next bike. Okay, Brian V. When is the turbo getting installed? Right guy. That's my best yeah, friend. Yeah. Oh, my only friend, Brian. If I didn't have you, I'd be lost. That's my man. That's my best friend right there. Yeah, so the turbo gets installed maybe when we hit, on this bike, when we hit 50,000 subscribers. We'll get a turbo. <laughs> so maybe so, then I can so afford So keep it. subscribing, guys, if you want to see a turbo. <laughs> okay. Also, how often do you guys fight over what part will look good and what part to order? All the time. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> we, we're back to the vision, and that's when the vision comes into play, and I don't see his vision, and he doesn't see my vision. It also comes back to taste, too. Although I think we have very similar tastes, there are some things that are very different about our tastes and what we like on our bikes. Uh, the second part of his question, <laughs> and how do you tell your wife her ideas are stupid? <laughs> Well, thank you, Brian. I love you, too. <laughs> I let her down easy. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, we, we do kind of get into it a little bit on, on certain things. <laughs> What's great about us is that we're productive arguers, so <laughs> we don't really let it get to our lives. Thanks, Brian, for your questions. Jason Casey would love to see an episode of a self-tuner upgrade and the steps you go through on the 2007. Possibly a FC3. So mine is already tuned with the fuel with pack. the fuel pack. There's really not much more we can do with it. Maybe in the future we'll do a little updates. I can do a video like that, or yeah. maybe the next bike we have we'll be we'll do a fuel pack tune on it. But this bike was already done, taken care of ago a long a long while ago. So thank you for the question, though, Jason. Last question, Dustin Walker. Are you going to install airbags on any builds in the near future? So as far as airbags go, yeah. Uh, if they weren't so damn expensive, I would have done them on my bike a long time ago. For some reason, the soft tails, uh, 
They are so expensive for these bikes. But uh, maybe if we do some kind of like Road King or Road Glide, I mean, my dad's bike's on air. It's pretty sick. It is sick. So we'll get that bike on the channel soon. Yes. And we'll show you yeah. guys around a little bit. It, it, it's so badass. So Absolutely. And we haven't forgotten about the Dyna guys. We have a lot of parts coming in still for the build. Also, there's a lot that we're doing to the bike that we kind of need nicer weather for to have that warmth to do what we need to do to it. I'm not going to give anything away, but that's all I'm going to say. Actually, we did have one more question. Um, we actually got it on our Instagram at VP underscore customs, which you can follow us at. Someone asked about uh, what's in those cups. Oh, they're solar cups. <laughs> We um, are, he also added that he thought you were... He thought um, I was a vodka guy, guy, and he is right. I mean, yeah. I'm not solely like, into anything specific, but yeah, Tito's Vodka. If you want to send a sponsorship over, we'll love it forever. <laughs> we do have one more. Oh, Chris McFarlane, another one of our loyal subscribers. Yeah, always, always, always chiming in. Why don't you have James and Jimmy on more? We need to see Jimmy on two wheels. Scary thought, but I'd enjoy it. <laughs> LOL. So if, for those of you that don't know James and Jimmy, James is my brother and Jimmy is his co-host of the Small Town Murder Podcast and Crime and Sports. And um, if you don't know them, check them out. Awesome, awesome, awesome yeah. uh, podcast. Uh, my favorite is the Small Town Murder because I'm... As like most women love true crime, true right? crime. <laughs> so, <laughs> so funny thing, um, Chris, Jimmy Wisman actually has a soft tail deluxe that he's been building for a long time, and yeah. he rides a lot. So it might not be as scary as you think, because he's a pretty yeah. bad dude. You got, you should see him. I, uh, I've seen some, seen him ride, and he is pretty good. Yeah, that is it for all our questions. You guys are always welcome to ask more, and we can always do another video where we add in, you know, the questions to whatever we're doing that day, and we'll answer them for you. Let's see what Eric's up to behind us here. Yeah, so we just finished draining the, the transmission fluid out of my bike, and uh, very little uh, material on the magnet, so I was happy to see that, especially after all, all my rolling burnouts and clutch stops. <laughs> <laughs> Transmission's not too angry with me, so that's a plus. Yeah, mine was a little messy because of all the burnouts all right. that I do. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. We got two bikes down for oil changes Woo! for the season. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not the most exciting build stuff, but as we know, this is necessary maintenance, but yeah. it was more just like you guys just hanging out with us. That's yeah. what we just wanted to include you on it for. Yeah, and we got to our three solo cups. Oh yeah, and... maybe more. <laughs> well, maybe more for this guy. <laughs> I was running up taking care of children, yeah. waking up. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, as always, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked what you saw today, give us a big thumbs up and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, guys. <laughs> the aftermath. <laughs>